everyone i hope you've all had a good weekend um so today we're going to be doing some decoupage so what you need is something to decoupage onto so this is just a blank box some tissue paper or napkins or any old bits of paper that you want to use some pva glue some water a brush and some scissors and then if you want to you can use things like dried flowers or glitter or stamps or whatever it is you want to decorate it with so I'm just going to show you each simple thing of how to attach the paper, how to do little appliques and how to put on dry flowers. So when working with decoupage, you want to mix your glue with some water um, to about a ratio of two parts glue, one part water. You can go up to 50 50, um, but it can get very thin and wet. Um, what you'd normally do is mix it in a palette, but because I've got this little squeezy top, what I'm going to be doing is putting glue on and then just dipping my brush in the water and mixing it as I go. But if you want to, just mix it in a little palette if you find that easier. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the top of my box. Um, you can start anywhere you like, but I'd say try and focus on one section at a time um, and make sure you wait for each layer to dry because um, working with too many wet layers at once, the tissue probably will tear or clump, it's quite hard to keep it neat. Um, you can either just tear bits of paper and layer them randomly, or you can cut out, just measure what you're working with and cut out specific shapes to fit those gaps. So I'm going to work with the top here, so what I want to do is get a bit of my glue and put a fair amount, wet my brush and then just start mixing and then I'm going to wet it again periodically just to make sure I've got a good ratio of water and try and mix that together. Now because I'm working with tissue paper it does go transparent once you start using it because of the wetness of the glue so I'm going to layer a bit of yellow underneath my final pattern just to make that a bit brighter I'm going to put a little bit more glue on top and I'm using the brush to push it into all of those crevices of the wood grain trying to brush out any creases of the paper as well. Then I'm just going to cut that off. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to do the inside of my box as well. And then just check that I've got every single piece tapped down. Now because that bit's got wet paper and this bit is, to let it dry I might open it like that and just prop it up. I've got a bit here, I could add another layer there before leaving it to dry. And I would say for a base colour you want maybe two or three layers of tissue paper at least, unless you want to see any of the wood grain. So I'm just going to carry on covering this and then I'll show you how to add your next layer. So now I've got my lid coated with three layers of yellow. I'm going to pop this last layer on the top. Put a little bit of glue here. Really you'd want to wait longer to let it dry. But for the purpose of the video I'm just going to get going. Now I haven't cut this perfectly straight because I'm going to put a little board around later. There we go. And then you want to let that dry. Now what you can do is cut out um, little features of patterns um, and just apply them in the same way you do a layer as an applique after. Um, this one has come off of this napkin. Now napkins typically are three ply 
So you've got one, two, three sheets. And you want to separate those sheets and you can use them individually to lay them up. And you'll see the second sheet has a kind of imprint of the pattern that's quite nice to use. And then your last sheet is the one with most of the colour. Here I've just cut out different pieces from this napkin and then assembled them randomly with just some glue. I didn't put a background image because I quite liked this on the wood. Uh, put a yellow base again with uh, one white underneath and then three yellow. And then I've painted the inside and put on a little pressed flower, which I'm going to show you how to do in a minute. So because this flower isn't completely flat, it's got quite a bit of texture, I want to try and build up lots of layers of glue. Um, with a bit less water than normal. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here and a little bit on the back of the flower. And brush that out. Trying to get in each crevice of the flower because it will seal it better. Now you could, if you had like a fixant spray or sealant spray you could spray the flower first let it dry and then put it over pop it into place there we go and then with a bit more glue coat it completely and then once it's fully dry i would do another layer and maybe even a third now remember, because these have petals, I'm going to brush them out in the direction of each petal. Otherwise, if you brush them the wrong way, it can destroy your flower and sort of fold over your petals in the wrong direction. Now the stem in particular doesn't want to stay down. So I'm just going to press it down. Pressing down the centre and keep working and keep it in place and if it pops up again just again put some more glue and hold it down if you can and then to try and get an even coverage of glue on my layer I'm just going to brush a bit out all the way around here we go so I'll let that dry and then do a couple more legs so I finished my lid here ideally you'd want to do the base layers on the top and the bottom and build it all up as you go along but just for the sake of the video I've just shown you one part of it and don't forget when you're working with something like a box you want to make sure to open it while doing layers and not just paper over it. otherwise you'll have to try and cut around it to open it again and that's quite difficult and you can add things like glitter or I've used the felt to just draw a border and you can decorate how you like and um, some people put velvet in the bottom um, I've just painted mine. So don't forget there's all sorts of different ways you can personalise this and you can do decoupage on all sorts of different things. So if you've got an old picture frame or an old vase, even ceramics, you can pretty much decoupage onto anything. Um, and there's lots and lots of videos out there about how to do decoupage on specific items. And once you're completely happy with it, don't forget to put that final layer of glue over all of the outside just to seal it. Um, if you've got something like a fixant or an acrylic spray, you can pop that on as well. Or if you want it shiny, you could put a clear layer of varnish over it. Um, and it just gives it that extra bit of protection. Okay, have fun making and don't forget to share all your creations.